Dixon Grinch. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and guests. I'm continuing my series of talks on opera, and today I'm really excited about the topic I've chosen. Put some zing into your life with Wagner's Ring. You pronounce it with a V because it's German. I would guess that many of you are not aware that Seattle is one of the two or three premier places in the world to see Richard Wagner's Ring of the Nibelung. It, it's commonly called Wagner's Ring, and it is a 15-hour reworking of northern European myths for modern man. It's considered by many to be the greatest work of art ever created. It took him over 30 years. He was, uh, the thing that's really paradoxical is that somebody so horrible could create such beautiful music and could create such moving stories. He's probably one of the smartest men who ever was a composer and read voluminously. And he sort of pulled from all of his re writings and readings that he had done to create the story. He created four music dramas as part of the ring. He did not consider them opera because he felt, and many people think it's justified, he felt that he so completely revolutionized the form of opera that it was a different art form. I won't go into all of that today. But one, what I will say is that George Lucas's Star Wars has many similarities to the ring cycle in its story. And John Williams, who wrote that music, which all of you are familiar with, relied very heavily on the influence of Wagner. The same thing, surprisingly, can be held for The Wizard of Oz. One of the things that Wagner did was he used themes for different characters throughout his operas. And in The Wizard of Oz, if I went, da 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 who is that? You, we all know who it is. That music follows her throughout the whole movie, and it's the same sort of thing in Wagner's mu music. I could do over 50 speeches just on Wagner and his operas, even just focusing on the ring and not even begin to scratch the surface. That is how deep the whole thing is. One of the things I could say is that Wagner was the only composer who wrote not only the music, which was groundbreaking, but he also wrote the story as well as all of the lyrics for the libretto. He also had the king of Bavaria, King Ludwig II, the mad King Louis, create and build an opera house for him. It's the only person in the world that has a, a house devoted strictly to their music. And people made practically religious pilgrimages to Bayreuth, which was where this was at, to hear it. And Bayreuth was so industry changing that many of the revolutionary innovations are still used in rock music and in musicals today, including the spotlight. Wagner invented that. He invented so many things, not just the music, the way that everything was put on. Today, my focus is on the fact that Wagner's music was the very apex of passionate and expressive music. It, just doesn't get more emotionally exciting than this. One of the things that brings this about is that Wagner wrote for the largest orchestra ever to play for his time, added many members to the orchestra. He also had the singers singing over such a large orchestra, it called for enormous voices that had tremendous stamina that could sing for two to three hours and not get tired. My aim today is to show you that Wagner's music is not only beautiful, but is among the most emotionally sh moving and shattering music ever written. It is just absolutely exciting music. Today's excerpt that I'm playing you is the dawn, like morning, dawn duet, from Die Gute Dämmerung, which is the last of the four music dramas, translate as the Twilight of the Gods. And in this, Brunhilde 
is the daughter of the king of the gods, and she's a goddess herself. Now, this is one of the things that makes Wagner's opera so interesting is that so many of them are about dysfunctional families. Now, I know none of you have dysfunctional families, so you can't relate, but that's what a lot of his stuff is about. And he expressly forbid her to do anything to save his bastard son by another woman who was one of her friends. She knew that he really wanted her to do it, but he said you can't because his wife told her that, you know, if he did it, she would, you know. So she did it and she was punished. She had her godhead stripped from her and she became mortal. And he put her on a rock slab on the top of a mountain for eternity. And we're not talking of Sealy Posterpedic up there. This was a rock slab. And she was to sleep until a hero worthy of her came through that magic fire that surrounded it. Isn't this good? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, after so many years, Siegfried came by, and he came through the fires, and he awakened her, and they were instant, mad, tempestuous lovers. Uh, did I mention that he was her nephew? And that uh, this was a, I think, a southern Germanic myth? Southern, no? Um, anyway, when this, this begins, the music is going to start, and it's going to swell up, and she is, has just spent the night of love with her hero, her lover, her nephew, just saying. And he, she is saying goodbye to him, and she's calling upon all the gods. And, well, it's really good music. And what you're going to hear today is, first of all, that the orchestra is a major, major, major character, more so than any other operatic music. And after they finish singing, the orchestra takes over and actually becomes the most powerful actor in the drama. The other thing is that we've got some incredible performers in today's thing. This is a recording from <coughs> sorry, 1955, which would have been the year that I was born, but I can't be that old. And <laughs> it was the first stereo recording of The Ring it's done at Bayreuth, his festival house that I was telling you about. And the singers are incredible. Astrid Varne, from the moment you hear her sing, there is not a doubt in your mind that she was born a goddess and she is now Germany's answer to Xena, warrior princess. Not a doubt in your mind. And then the Wolfgang Wengassen, and you see the pictures of them there. He's a very handsome bloke. And he sings like he looks. And he's got this gorgeous voice. And I think you're going to like it. And so they're going to sing back and forth and back and forth. They're going to hit this hot, really thrilling high note. And then the music goes crazy. It'll be allowed for a little bit. And it sort of tapers down. But it, it's necessary. <laughs> now, one thing I want you to hear is this is one of the things that sets this performance apart for me, is there's a little phrase in here that only two Wagnerian singers I've heard does it justice. I can't do it, but I will do it slowly. The phrase is da 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 da. Well, Brunhilde here with Astrid Varne does it, and it's perfect. And the other singers so usually get it right. You will also hear that very important musical theme later in the orchestral interlude that follows. So turn over the picture. Go to the second page. And you will have the words. And after the swelling of the music, you will hear Brynhilde come in, Oh, holy gods. So get ready for some, this, this is not Britney Spears. <laughs> this is not Britney Spears. This is, this is a different ball game altogether.
is not subtle, but it's wonderful. And I'm here to tell you, if Match.com could, <laughs> could regularly deliver relationships with that type of zing, they would be as big as Microsoft. <laughs> now, today, I hope you have noticed some very unusual and striking things about this music. First of all, just the sheer emotional intensity of it. It is not Britney Spears. This is really, this is the type of music that gives you chill bumps. And I don't think enough of us have chill bumps in our life. Number two, the predominant role that the orchestra played in this. It was like a major actor. And finally, how exciting this music can be when two really fabulous artists like Astrid Barnet and Wolfgang Mingassen are performing. I would like you to branch out and get a disc from the Library of Wagner's music, even if it's just the orchestral preludes to his music, and listen to it and get swept away. Put some zing into your life <laughs> with Wagner's ring. Thank you. Thank you.